this is Mario 67 welcoming you back with Dax Isseldorf his parenthesis and I said I was going to be somewhere cold to read the mail a little say cool and here I am and look at that view there with that snow and ice on the mountain behind just keen out through the cloud and here I am in the tower just south of the village of Island. And yes nice it's clearing up a little bit and here to the north is the village it's a bit hazy in the in the misty cloud sun just shining through there but nice view gorgeous place you understand why i like coming here it's so nice anyway melina casal so i think i should actually Nor do I want to burn your facts about me, but it would at best upset you and at worst make you see me in an unfavourable light. Suffice it to say, I subdue the villain and follow the villain. I subdue the villain and follow the count strict strong. Never feed to excess. Except the villain feeding on the villain. It does sound like a vampire, doesn't it? Not a werewolf, but a vampire. And, you know, in here, so player characters can be vampires, can be werewolves. There are some restrictions in here. If it's a knife, I might post a link in the description to the ESO page on vampires so you can have a look. Um, they do require to keep their powers to actually um, play. Now where was I? Oh yes, the villain. I am especially cultist with relative ease and I had a quick bite. Fighting makes me peckish. Unfortunately, my actions seemed to upset the captive young man who recoiled from me. I must admit, I was expecting him to be more grateful to me for rescuing him. Perhaps if I remove his bindings, I probably think you're going to eat him next. That's what I would think of it. Um, yes, well, I guess the old saying is true. Never eat on a first date. The captive I rescued from the cultists is the son of the lesser noble house, Liam Fontbourne. He's tall with dark eyes and a tuft of dark hair. He was also rude and ungrateful. And he had the audacity to call me a monster. If he thinks we're going to have a second date, he's probably mistaken. I think Melina thanks you, man. Hmm. It took some doing, but I was able to calm Liam down. I convinced him that his eyes were playing tricks on him. The stress of almost being sacrificed all day for and all. Of course, I didn't fight the cultists. And I never sucked the blood from his neck. Now that that's behind us, I wonder if he has an escort for the High King's Ball. Hmm, she did bite the cold, she drank drinkers, but she just convinced them that she didn't. Yes, Melina? Hmm. What a wonderful evening. Me and I took for hours on the walk back for, to Shornhelm. He is really quite charming when he is in the second of day to He seems a little shy around me. And I think I make him nervous, and I'm sure he's going to fight me to the High King's Ball. Your latest components are enclosed. See, she does fancy him, so let's go to the ball with Liam. Mm -hmm. Oh, patron, what did I do wrong? It's been two days, and I haven't heard a word from Liam Fontball since we said goodnight on the steps of his family's home in Shawnell. I saved him from the scamps. We shared a moment, and now nothing. I must be a terrible person, but never fear, I haven't stripped my duty. Now, your components are a place. Hey, I'm telling you guys. Oh god, the sun's shining in the background there. Nice, lovely. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. Oh, happy day. A messenger arrived at the castle that day. He brought a letter from me. He apologized for the delay. He wants to see me. What should I wear? I need to find Gwen first. She's so much better at these sorts of things. I promise to tell you all about my Yeah, yeah, definitely you wear something to repress it. Not too much, not too revealing, not too covered up. <coughs> In between, yeah, trust me this side. No, what do I know? I'm a new guy. I just like girls up pretty. Gwyneth is amazing. She was so helpful. She advised me all about what dress to wear. 
how to set my hair, all sorts of things to make my meeting with Liam unfold as smoothly as possible. He still seemed nervous and a little shy, but he did eventually ask me to attend the High King's Ball. I of course told him I'd think about it and let him know. Yes, think about it, let him know the answer is yes. Gwen has volunteered to respond to Liam's invitation to accompany him to the High King's Ball for me. She's such a good friend. She let him know that I will be both honoured and delighted to attend the ball as his companion for the evening. Now all I have to do is wait patiently for the night of the ball. Ugh! I don't do patiently very well. At least she managed to find three components for me. Well, for that I am happy. Well, waiting for the hiking ball, I decided I needed a distraction. A short trip into the wilds of Riven Spy to search out new components. Like a good idea. I hadn't poked around the ruins of the Loch Crater hills for a while, so that was as good a destination as any. It was a immediate success, as you can see from this shipment. Well, two, I guess that's the average amount. That's okay, two. I'm not as alone out here as I have thought. I know someone is watching me. The question is, is this mysterious observer benign or dangerous? Well, either way, they're about to discover that Lady Melina Cassell can be deadly when the need arises. In the meantime, enjoy these components. I slipped into the shadows and moved to the woods, keeping to the darkness. I was certain that I was nearly invisible to my mysterious observer. In that day, I was able to approach his hiding spot without him noticing. He was so focused on scanning the ruins that he never suspected that I was now right behind him. It was time to play my prey. Hmm. You said you'd only fight the uh, feet of, of villains. I don't know if he's a villain or not. Interesting. The man who had been watching me in the Lucrata ruins wasn't as, as clueless as I suspected. He was a hulking Nord who wore the armour of a resolute of Stendar. He moved as fast as a wood elf and was upon me in an instant. His weapon at ready. I smiled and introduced myself. It was a polite thing to do before I ripped his face off. Didn't you rip his face off though, did you? Should I tell more of the story? Oh! Have you heard of the Resolute of Stender? They are a holier than you group of warriors intent on hunting down and destroying anything they don't understand. The Resolute of Metin Pokrata called himself Jakathon Sagukov. He was everything you think of in the world and he had a religious war. And yes, he was here to kill me. Why does Resolute of Stender want to kill Lady Malina Kassel? Well, that was the question. It was the first thing I asked him after he made his intention to know. You're a foul, unholy, ugly creature. Because you are a vampire! What a little man of truth. I am nowhere ugly. As for vampire, well, let me there. See? I told you she was a vampire. Yes. I've got to find the link for you. Yeah, I think I know. I've seen one before. They can put in the description. Does my true nature surprise you, Patron? Does it disgust you, fill your belly with terror, your bowels with dread? Really? If so, I'm disappointed in you. After all, I've served you faithfully and honoured our agreement to the letter. I'm not a monster. Count Veranda says we're special. That we have a duty to those who don't possess our gifts. Gifts? I'm not sure how it would have turned out, but Jack and I did not fight the day. While we were in the midst of exchanging harsh words and harshing themselves, Jack and I was blood things emerged from the darkness behind the sleep and fell upon him with savage gusto. With a sigh, and despite the differences, I decided to save the resolution. I must say, Jack and take a vote since he knows how to dispatch a lot of things. Once I David and gave him a chance to get his variance, he took down the rest of the blood beats with only a motor gun. He didn't He didn't decide to be my friend. All he said was, I'll be watching. And he turned and walked away. Why? That's a strange thing about. See, vampires aren't necessarily evil as that thousand traditional stories. 
Since I'm still employed, I'm assuming that my being a vampire doesn't concern you, at least not enough to stop you receiving enchanting components from me. If you're interested, I'll tell you more about my life in Ravenwatch and how we use our special gifts. For now, please accept these materials as a thank you for your understanding. It's me again, Melina Cassell. I'm an enchanted in training, a supplier of enchanting materials, and one thing more, I'm a vampire. I live by the same code as all members of House Ravenwatch. Code put in place and enforced by Gauntra around this. Our primary goal is to do good works, to use our special gifts to help in any way we can. Two different from undead. The rest of our code involves such high concepts as honor and vigilance, noble spirit and restraint. We only feed from willing volunteers and never to access. The only exception to that rule is when we encounter criminals and evil cultists. In those cases, we can give the monsters with it and us full reign. Components are in those. Now that you know the particulars of my unique existence, let's get back to the more mundane aspects of my life. The night of the High King's Ball was fast approaching and I had a list of preparations as long as my arm to deal with. That means I need assistance. That means I need this. She really is an expert at these kinds of affairs. Hacking's ball is almost upon us, so I still have a hundred and one tasks to do. I have to have my hair set up and my makeup done, and I need a gown and a bouquet of the most beautiful flowers in the land. Winda says she's working on everything, but I'm starting to become nervous. I want to make a good impression when Liam comes to ball. Beautiful girl. You're dead. What? That's the future god. Maybe you're not dead as a man fire. Gwyneth did it again. She brought six women to the castle and four hours later and four hours later my hair is perfect. My makeup is exquisite, my gown is gorgeous and I feel beautiful. Now all I have to do is not move for the next six hours and Liam arrives to take me to the four. But I have to stretch my responsibilities, Patron. Your components are imposed. Done it and the rest for the next time. Now <laughs> Nice views. Sunset over Bleak Rock Village. Lovely. Anyway, I must end this. So this is Small Yoss 67 signing off with Dex Isidore Fisper. Let's just be well.